President-elect Gotabe Rajapaksa is scheduled to be sworn in at the Ruan Valley Mahasaya in Anuradhapura tomorrow in the morning. The president-elect spoke to media following the meeting at the National Election Commission in the afternoon. we must thank the people for making this decision. They chose someone who has the strength to maintain peace among the communities and reconcile the religions in the country and move forward. Jati Natra Samagia Mitratya Agantra Sangindiava Nisyala at the Kargini Driati and the Pulong Shakti at the beginning to Ragata. A large number of people gathered opposite the National Election Commission to congratulate the president elect. Meanwhile, Chairman of the National Election Commission, Mahinda Deshapriya, announced the final result of the presidential election this afternoon. All presidential candidates who contested at the presidential election were summoned to the Election Commission this afternoon. Chairman of the Commission, Mahinda Deshapriya, announced the final result of the election with the arrival of all the candidates. At the presidential election held on the 16th of November, securing over 6,626,250 votes, which is over 50% of the 13,252,499 total in votes, Gotabe Rajpaksa from the Sri Lanka Podhijana Perumuna emerged victorious with a total of 6,924,255 votes. <laughs> Mahinda Desha Pre and the members now declare that Gotabe Raj Paksa was elected as the President of the Republic under the Presidential Election Act No. 15 of 1981. Mr. President, we request you to comply with your election manifesto. The chairman of the National Election Commission made a special request. Dear President-elect, democracy will only prevail if laws pertaining to elections are strengthened. We hope that you take your steps to fulfill that. The credibility and fairness of the polls will only remain only if there is a democratic process in the country and the responsibility of that does not depend on you alone. It requires the support of all political party leaders, activists and all citizens. Therefore, we hope that you will ensure that all government officials and citizens will work together to make our country a democratic country. My final request, dear President-elect, take action to hold the provincial council elections that went missing. Presidential candidate of the New Democratic Front, Sajid Premadasa, expressed the following views. I would like to congratulate the 7th Executive President, Kotabi Rajapaksa, by buying down to the people's decision with dignity and honour at a crucial election. I would like to thank and honour all Sri Lankan citizens who participated in the election campaign and those who had faith in me. Implement a methodology so that members of any party who participated in the election campaign are not harassed. I extend my gratitude to the Elections Commission, who headed a fair and peaceful election. I extend my support to President-elect Gotabe Rajapaksa to unite all communities and religions in a united Sri Lanka to create a prosperous motherland. A President-elect Gotabe Rajapaksa said the people's trust in him would be safeguarded.
mama stuti vanta wenawa mirati i'm grateful to the citizens of this nation for placing their valued trust in me and appointing me as the president of the nation and i will do justice to your trust placed in me as the chairman reminded i will extend my support to hold elections in the country within the proper time period i'm glad that we were able to change certain amendments to ensure a peaceful election i am the president of those who voted both in favor and against me i will serve considering them as sri lankans despite any religious or racial differences i extend my gratitude to the citizens and each candidate who made a peaceful election possible This is a look back at the life of president elect Gotabe Rajapaksa Born on the 20th of June 1949 Nanda Sena Gotabe Rajapaksa was brought up in Veerakattiya Hammantota His father DA Rajapaksa was a prominent character in Sri Lanka's political sphere Mahinda Rajapaksa, Jamal Rajapaksa and Basil Rajapaksa are the older brothers of Gotabe Rajapaksa. A past pupil of Ananda College Colombo, Gotabe Rajapaksa obtained a degree in Information Technology from the University of Colombo in the year 1992. A retired military officer, he was appointed as the Defence Secretary of the country in 2005 under the government of Mahinda Rajapaksa. The first challenge that former Defence Secretary Gotabe Rajapaksa faced was defeating the terrorists in the country at the time he was appointed to office. Against such a backdrop, he was once the target of a terrorist attack. At the end of the war in 2009, Gotabe Rajapaksa laid the foundation for the urban development program in Colombo. President elect Gotabe Rajapaksa, who gave leadership to the Vyathmag organization, was named as the presidential candidate of the Sri Lanka Podujana Perumuna on the 11th of August this year. Podujana jaya rave api venu en api atharama nagena bala After 98 days of political campaigning Gotabe Rajapaksa was elected as the 7th executive president of Sri Lanka. Now this was the manner in which celebrations were held island wide in line with the final announcement of the 2019 presidential election. district to go to the about to pass the second thank you
While results of the presidential elections were being announced last night and this morning, Gotabe Rajapaksa was at his residence in Mirihana, Nugegoda. With the confirmation of Gota Bear Rajapaksa's victory, public representatives and artists visited Gota Bear Rajapaksa's residence from morning. <laughs> Leader of the Sri Lanka Podujana Peramuna Mahindra Rajapaksa was at his Carlton residence in Tangol when election results were being announced. <laughs> Well-wishers, party supporters and provincial council representatives visited the Carlton House today. Subsequently, Mahindra Rajapaksa left for Colombo in the afternoon. Now, the Indian High Commissioner to Sri Lanka, Taranjit Singh Sandhu, visited President-elect Gotabe Rajapaksa at his residence in Mirihana, Nugegoda. How important to I, I just met him. I just saw him and just I, I couldn't ask from him. Okay. But uh, how important for your country uh, relationship with India and China? Very important. India and China and they are our neighbors. Mm -hmm. They have been always our good friends uh -huh. for a long time. Uh -huh. Which is important? Very important. Both are important. Both. All countries are important, uh -huh. but India is our neighbor. Oh, yeah. And uh, even China. India is a, uh, your uh, neighbor, and China is a... Closest. Yeah. Yeah. Economic, is economic partner. Partner. China is a... The international community extended their wishes to the president-elect. Indian Prime Minister Narendra Modi tweeted his wishes to President-elect Gotabe Rajapaksa. The tweet read, quote, Congratulations on your victory in the presidential elections. I look forward to working closely with you for deepening the close and fraternal ties between our two countries and citizens and for peace, prosperity as well as security in our region, unquote. A stalwart of the Bharatiya Janata Party, Subramaniam Swami, also congratulated Gotabe Rajapaksa. He tweeted, quote, Gotabe Rajapaksa has won the presidential election in Sri Lanka. He is a decisive and a clear-sighted person, good for India, unquote. President of Maldives, Ibrahim Mohamed Soli, warmly congratulated Gotabe Rajapaksa via Twitter. The tweet stated, quote, I look forward to working with your new administration to further the already close and fraternal ties between Maldives and Sri Lanka, unquote. Maldivian speaker and former president Mohamed Nasheed also extended a hearty congratulations in a tweet saying, quote, the relationship between Maldives and Sri Lanka is so important for both countries. I very much look forward to working with you to create prosperity for both our peoples, unquote. While congratulating the new president-elect, President of Pakistan, Arif Alvi, said they hope to continue working with Sri Lanka for the betterment of people and to advance the shared interests of regional peace, stability and prosperity.